Hello everyone, Movie Man 175 here, and uh Aren't you glad I'm back? <laughs> well, back in a way at least. Um I can't exactly do gameplay videos or anything like that, but what I can do is like audio reviews. So I did it. I'm gonna do it. So enjoy. <laughs> uh the subject of my reviewing, well, it won't really be a review, it'll be like, um, I'll just be giving my brief opinion, well, maybe not too brief, I'll just give my opinion on, uh, episode by episode of The Walking Dead, I don't know how many of them I'm gonna do, I might just do this one, I might do the first season, I might do all of them, who knows, but, right now I'm just doing the first episode of The Walking Dead, season one, episode one, Days Gone By great title, by the way. I love the title. Yes, I do have a few notes, so if you don't like that, fight me. Uh, so, if you're watching this video, odds are you, you know the show. So I'm not going to sit here and like painfully try and, and talk about every detail of the show. I'm just going to talk about what I feel like talking about. Um, so obviously the show opens up with the wreck on in the road, and, uh, Rick is stopped to find gas for the cop car, and <laughs> there's a lot of really strange car accident stuff in that scene. The thing is, a bunch of cars in that scene are all burnt and messed up, but there are, like, two or three cars in that, in that scene that look undamaged. They look like someone just lifted them up and put them gently upside down, and that's almost exactly what happened, probably. So yeah, I didn't like how neat and clean the car, especially as, like, a semi-truck that was completely on its side, and it looked com almost completely undamaged. I thought that was a little bit stupid. And obviously, I, I love uh, the first walker that you see, the girl with the, with the doll. That was just awesome. I love the opening title sequence of The Walking Dead. I love um, that they don't even they don't even show like a, a bunch of zombies, which would be the first guess of what they would do in a title sequence. They just show you empty places, <laughs> and that's all you need to make it awesome. Just show a bunch of empty streets and empty grocery store and pictures and just cool imagery. And awesome music, and they made one hell of an awesome opening title sequence. Uh, so yeah. So Rick gets shot, as you all know. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> this is funny. I love the fact that, okay, Shane and Rick are having their little guy talk in the cop car. And then they get a call, and they have to go. And Shane literally reaches his whole body almost out of the car to throw away the packaging from the food they were eating. Like, we are so committed to not littering that we are gonna. I'm gonna really try not to eat this. <laughs> I just love the look on his face. He sticks his whole body out of the out of the car and he just tosses it in there. I don't know why. I just think that's funny. You can really tell that Frank Darabont was directing this first season just by the cam just by the amazing camera shots and I, it, it's amazing i i wish that they would have kept frank darabont uh obviously there's that awesome awesome car crash they had to destroy that beautiful car but it was probably not real it was probably like a fake a dummy car uh, rick wakes up in the uh hospital out of the coma from him getting shot i have a beef with something that by the way if I'm complaining about something, it doesn't mean I don't like the show. I'm just nitpicking, okay? Because I can. <laughs> Sometimes it's fun to pick nit. <laughs> but Rick's beard, after he wakes up from the coma, looks really fake to me. Every time I see that beard, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, that beard looks so fake to me. One side looks different than the other side. It's fake. It's horrible. Horrible. I mean, it's not horrible. It's nothing that's gonna... It's not like a show-breaking problem. 
I just thought it was annoying. Another thing that I find in, a little annoying about the hospital scene is, you know, well, I, I love the hospital scene. Again, this is a nitpick. But what is it about the zombie apocalypse? What is it about any apocalypse where there's just paper everywhere? Like, oh god, zombies, quick, throw all of the paper at them. <laughs> Why would the streets be riddled with paper? And why would the hospital be riddled with with paper? I That always annoys me whenever I... It annoyed me in the Dawn of the Dead remake. Like, the whole city was supposed to be destroyed, and all they really did was throw paper everywhere. <laughs> and that seems a little bit stupid to me. Whatever. And of course, you see your first bit of gore in the show. You see the woman half eaten, and it looks real, man. It looks real. <laughs> what else do we got here? Yeah, I'm looking at my uh, notes. Dear me. I love Rick when he uh, gets out of the hospital. He goes and he's blinded temporarily by the light, and he sees the the sea of dead bodies. Well, maybe it's not a sea. Little river, but he sees a river of dead bodies <laughs> that are all covered up, presumably by the military because they didn't really realize that covering the bodies was pointless. I, I, I just thought it was really interesting. I love seeing the uh, abandoned helicopter. I think that's the most that's cool image. I think the hospital in the background of that scene look looks like a map painting. It looks like. It doesn't look real, but whatever. This isn't really, like, it sounds like I'm being negative as shit. Don't get me wrong. I love The Walking Dead. <laughs> it's my favorite show. It is my favorite show. I personally believe it's the best show on television. But, for some reason, I, I'm, I'm doing a video, so I feel the need to pick nits. So, here we go. Continue the nitpicking. Uh, obviously, the acting from Andrew Lincoln is fantastic. The acting from everyone. There's not a bad actor... I don't think in the show. There are moments of bad acting, but they're fleeting. I like the fact that in this episode of The Walking Dead, Rick looks weak. Like, he physically looks weak because he's been in a coma for a few months. So he's not going to just be Rambo. He's weak. And I like that. Freaking realistic, you know? So yeah, so yeah. Obviously, uh, Rick runs into Morgan. I love when uh, Dwayne hits him in the face with a shovel, with a shovel, whack right in the face, just like the comic book. And then the comic book is in the back of the head, but it's still hilarious. I love it. And so he meets him. He goes to the, uh, he goes back to Rick's house. Figures that his wife, you know, must be alive because all the photos are gone, which is kind of clever, I guess. And a really odd editing choice happened in this scene. Like, Rick opens a cabinet to get keys. And then the very next shot is him opening a door to, to somewhere. And from the editing, I just assumed that we were still in Rick's house. And then it was revealed, wait, we're in the police station now. But just a, literally a second ago, we were in Rick's house. And the editing made it look like we were still in Rick's house. I swear for a split second, I, I thought, does he have a police station in his house? <laughs> I, I think they could have edited that a little bit better. What else do we got here? I love when Rick shoots his uh, fellow officer. What was his name? Um, Leon Bassett. Ooh, the look in his eye, man. That was awesome. Blam, man. I get pumped up watching that shit. It's awesome. What else? Oh! Oh, wait. No. Nope, that's skipping ahead a little bit. Uh, obviously, yeah, I love um, all the scenes of Rick trying to find uh, Bicycle Girl, and he shoots her, and he says, you know, I'm sorry this happened to you. That's a great line, probably the best line of the first season. And, you know, Morgan attempts to shoot his wife, but couldn't, couldn't pull it off, couldn't finish the deed. And... That's obviously going to cost him later. 
And so they split up, yada, yada, yada. They go places, they meet people. Um, he goes to, uh, Rick goes to a farm looking for gas yet again. And he sees a dead guy and his wife. I love the fact that this guy shoots his wife and then takes the time to write, God forgive us on the wall. <laughs> Um, oh, this is a little bit too long. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, continue to the next uh, part of this series. Uh, and comment, like, all that good stuff. Thank you.